Well, now, can drone technology help Africa overcome some of its biggest infrastructure and development problems? In some places in Africa, you need only to look up to the sky to see how drones are beginning to show their promise. Africa 54's Haiti Adams Fitzpatrick has more. You'd be forgiven for thinking this sounds like a swarm of bees coming your way. But in rural Malawi, this is the sound of a drone delivering your medicine. Here, screening of HIV in babies requires special lab tests. Poor infrastructure and high travel costs mean it can take up to two months to get samples from rural health facilities to equipped labs. That delay often prevents people from accessing vital antiretroviral treatment. However, drone technology is helping to deliver urgent medical care while saving time, money, and in many cases, lives. There are many delays in the continuum of getting HIV positive children on treatment. They need to come in early for testing, ideally before two months, between six and eight weeks. Their tests, the dried blood spots, need to get from the health facilities to one of the eight laboratories nationwide. In Cameroon, entrepreneur Mathieu Ongen saw an opportunity in the tourism market. He's now using drones to offer visitors to his country something new. My use of drones is mainly to take images of different parts of the city. Of course, we also use it to highlight some of the best tourist sites because seen from above, some of these sites have even a bigger impact on people. This Kenyan university student built his own drone. He couldn't use it in his home country because Kenya's government restricts drone use. So Arnold Bett looked to neighboring Tanzania, where he was able to use his drone, called the Octocopter, for agricultural research. The Octocopter could identify 14 different varieties of sweet potatoes in the fields below through drone-based remote sensing. Bett says drone technology doesn't come cheap. Uh, buying a ready commercial uh, drone is very expensive and uh, that will mostly range between $5,000 to $6,000 dollars and, and for us building one the most probably it will cost us is about uh, $1,000, but on average, $500 to $1,000. Loaded into the plane, the plane's passed pre flight checks. Rwanda's poor infrastructure and mountainous landscape make it difficult to service rural health centers. So the government and U.S. startup Zipline looked to the sky for a solution. They launched a delivery service that drops blood bags to 20 remote hospitals. The drones can make a round trip of 93 miles. Blood is incredibly urgently needed, and this is a way of getting it to them 10 times faster than we've been able to get it uh, to hospitals in the past. As Africa gradually embraces drones, questions remain about whether the continent is ready for them, how much they will cost, and how they'll be regulated, even as many African countries are only just beginning to develop their drone policy. Heidi Adams-Fitzpatrick, VOA News, Washington.